Some may not believe in climate change, but the effect on growing our food is without a doubt there. That according to four experts who gathered at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health for a panel concerning the impact of climate change on agriculture and the global food supply system with an emphasis on the U.S. and Africa. This panel was moderated by Peter Thompson, environment editor of Public Radio International's The World, and consisted of Gary Adam Kiewitz, assistant professor of environmental health and exposure disparities at the Harvard Chan School, Margaret Walsh, senior ecologist at the Climate Change Program Office, USDA, Kalistus Juma, professor of the practice of international development at the Harvard Kennedy School, and Caleb Harper, principal investigator and director of the Open Ag Initiative at the MIT Media Lab. Gary noted that an estimated 800 million to 900 million people worldwide are undernourished. This idea of feeding the world is really a 20th century idea, Yuma said, noting that the tendency historically has been to select for high yields of certain crops rather than for high nutritional content. It seems to me today that the focus is on nourishing the world. Yuma, who heads a project called Agriculture Innovation in Africa, said that in developing countries, the impact of climate change on agriculture is actually understated. He notes that studies are mainly focused on yields, rarely including decisions made by farmers confronting climate change, who may reduce their crops in arid areas or even abandon agriculture altogether. The challenges are much more serious than we think, he says. Referring to the work of the MIT Open Ag Initiative, Harper described personal food computers, boxes that create climate inside. He described a future of meat cultivation, grown through cell cultures rather than by raising animals, and predicted a return to ancient techniques such as fermenting and brewing. For more on cellular agriculture in particular, be sure to watch our own 2017 Food Trends Report at the link provided.